Hello. Okay, great. Grand finale, like I really, <laughs> that should have been the topic. Grand finale. <laughs> How are you? Who do we have here? Here, 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 here. This is it. This is it. How are you? Good evening. Welcome to the 21 of 21 of the midnight walk we got. 2024. We did it. We made it to the finish line. Let's see. I don't this doesn't look like am I in the center? So maybe I don't know. We made it to day 21 of 21 of the midnight walk with God. My goodness. Like we're champs. That's how I feel. Like a champ. Like, you know, we set our mind to do it and we did it. We set our minds to do it and we did it. So go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> So what better way to that you know to just wear the t-shirt that you love the t-shirt that is t-shirting? <laughs> oh my goodness! Mm. How was how has your <laughs> how has your day been? Don't forget to share the link. In fact, so when I look at my analytics, it shows me that twenty about twenty eight percent, I think. Well, over 20% of the people who watch my videos and lives are not subscribed to my channel. <laughs> yes. In fact, I'll tell you, I want to make one that just says profits. Do you get? I thought about this. I want to make one that just says profits. Like, forget the zero, profits. <laughs> so I'm going to have to commission them to do that. All right? So... Go ahead and share to your friends, with your friends, on WhatsApp, social media, anywhere, everywhere. Just spread this message. And um, like I said, over 20% of the people that watch my videos and my lives are not subscribed to my channel. And I don't know if you're one of them. If you are, please just, you know, um, subscribe, like, share, and set notification. One thing I know is that you know, like a thief in the night, I would show up live. So every night at 9 p.m., I'm going to be showing up live, right? Every Sunday at 9 p.m., I would show up live. But then before the, the Sunday, if I start to miss you too much, I'll just show up live and I don't know what time. It doesn't have to be 9 p.m. Because this one was a set time, so I need to follow, follow, you know, protocol and show up at 9 p.m. I can decide that I want to show up at 12 midnight. Like, I can decide that, oh, I'm not feeling sleepy today. Like, I'm working and, you know, I just... <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? And I just decide to show up. I can just be in the middle of work and decide that, you know what? I want to show up. You know, I can just be and then have, like, a stack. Like, oh, my goodness. Why will this idea have to wait till um what's it called till sunday before i share this idea meanwhile if i share the idea in the moment someone can take it and run in their businesses at that time you get what i'm trying to say so set your notifications if you do nothing else i guess you need to be subscribed to set notifications whatever but just do something and then you know the link to get into my email list <laughs> ijomandukwe.com okay getting my email list so that anytime i think i want to go live i think i'll be nice enough to be honest to send out an email even if it's just a one-liner to say we're going live do you understand even if it's just to send a one-liner to say we're going live so that you'll get it in your email so that you know so just click ejomandukwe.com and um, the form you will see there is the zero to profits it talks about the zero to profits but don't, it doesn't matter it just gets into my email list. It doesn't take you to pay. Okay? <laughs> okay, Doki. So I wish I could tell you that I really studied. Last night, I slept by past 11. <laughs> Kim Kim. Kim Kim. Kim Kim been a minute. 
Mm -hmm. So, but we're going to be, we're talking today about the power of vision, the power of vision. For the past 21 days, we've been talking about the new, the next level, the power of the mind. Remember, Isaiah 58, all right? Um, enlarge the place of your tent. We've talked about as far as your eyes can see. And let's see, you know, it would have been nice if I kind of, the dominion mandate, it's time to grow intimacy with the holy spirit i'd love to know like which of the days is your favorite so you can actually um send me emails like if you get into my email list it would send you an, an automated mail that way you would have my email address or even if you don't have to go through that if you don't want to, i'm not coercing you into anything or trying to manipulate you into anything my email is ijoma at ijoma com. period so you can send me an email send me an email about your experience, maybe your favorite day, what you learned, you know, like your feedback, a testimonial, and it'll be nice to hear from you. So ijama at ijama.com. There was the journey to becoming, the gift of restoration, part one and two. Um, so I'm just going through my notes to see. Discover your purpose. Um, what's this one? Okay, so this was the gift of restoration, part two. Like we really covered grounds, preparing for the new. Where are you? Oh, wow. That seemed like forever, but it was just on day 13. Because even now I'm thinking, oh, wow. When we're saying that God's walking had a voice. Where are you? Oh, wow. You see why I say I need to go back over and over and over. And then until the roots, until you change the roots, the fruits will never change. Wow. The source determines the outcome. What would you decide to focus on? What is the focus of your knowledge? Preparing for the new. What are you thinking? My goodness. And it was, what? The next level. Okay. So but what I'm saying is that we've talked about the power of the mind and all of those things. And, you know, imagine and the fact that wherever the sole of your feet, you know, um, treads upon, I've already given you. All right. And I didn't think of anything but to talk about the power of vision. Because we've been talking about your dream life, which is your new, which is your next level, and um, your ideal future, the vision blueprints for your life. But, uh, but I, I just think that we need to understand the power of that vision. And I'll start with, with, with you know, a bit of a story. I think it was yesterday, I think, when I was sharing, um, when, when I said, just in case for people who really don't know me, who stumble on the video, or even who are watching right now, you know, who don't know that I had a failed marriage. And um, I had a failing business. You know, it's funny that now I can say it's a failing business, not a failed business. Like, that in itself is a testimony. That I'm not talking about Bubba's Foods in the past. I'm not saying, oh, you know, I used to have this business that da, da 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 No, that it's actually there. So that means that at that point, it was a comma, not a full stop. So it wasn't a failed business. Do you understand? It was a failing business. But I was so heartbroken and so distraught because I was sure that the business had failed, even though I knew at the back of my mind that the Lord would make a way of escape. And we've, we've shared that much. And I've, I've also shared the fact about the anxiety attacks I had with, you know, our debt portfolio as a business. So it wasn't the debt in itself that was the issue. It was the fact that we were in debt and the business had shut down because of COVID. So we weren't even generating revenue. And I was preparing these debts out of personal pocket. Personal pocket dried up. There was no business to get the funds from. And I just felt like I'd reached the dead end. So, you know, I, I just tried to, to, to scribble. Let me see. So I said I was carrying so much debt, which brought a lot of anxiety and shame. There was a lot of shame. Up until late last year, they wanted to give me an award as something, something SME. You know, and I'm thinking, which SME of the who? Of the what? To collect what award? You push, you don't worry. Chop the award. Like, yeah. So I turned down a lot of things. I turned down a lot of speaking engagements because of the shame. Because it's more like you're owing people money. Your business is owing people, your people money, right? And you want to go and collect a word or you want to go and speak. So very few times, maybe two or three, 
I'm thinking where is the third place that I agreed to speak. So I was, I went in hiding, right? And um, but but at that time, I said all I had was my documented dream life and vision blueprints for my business. Even though I wasn't looking at it, but the thing is, it was embedded inside of me because it's, it, my dream life came from me. It was a life I designed for myself. It wasn't somebody else's idea of how I should be living my life, right? So even though I wasn't looking at it, it was embedded deeply inside of me, you know? And um, it was so bad that I didn't even want to look at our loan schedule. John is that. You know how the heart palpitation is even just looking at the schedule of, you know, names, amount, whatever it was, I used to hyperventilate. So I, everything was a trigger. My phones are permanently on silent normally, right? <laughs> I, don't even, I don't like communication normally. So everything was just a trigger. Everything was a trigger. So I remember this one time I went to speak to, I remember that day, it was in January of 2021. I went to talk to her, by that time we had gotten our legal space paid and locked it up. And then I was talking to this friend of mine from Lagos Business School, one of my colleagues, you know, because I was really confused, didn't know what to do. And we've had that conversation where it was like I was saying to God, God, see, this is no money that we haven't <laughs> seen and touched, handled. Please just give us, you know, we've talked about the easy way out. <laughs> And I was talking to this friend of mine and he said, Ichoma, you know how, you know, like your passion, it's infectious. Remember like who you are, all those stories you used to tell in class, you know, just generally like reminding me and all he said, or part of what he said that stuck with me, he said, go back to the beginning. Now this was me who prior to then kept saying to people, go back to the place of your last instruction. Like if you knew me, it was one of my phrases. So I had these phrases, it was, your dreams are valid. That That is not really like original to me, right? But go back to the place of the last instruction, yes. You know, it's original to me. Clarity comes in motion, you know? Like it was just, you know how you're doing something and then you just get it. And then when you don't have a backup, you sit up. This three. So I kept saying to people, go back to the place of the last instruction. But this one time, I didn't know how to go back to the beginning. I didn't know how to go back to the place of the last destruction. And um, so when he said that, it sparked the whole go back to the place of the last destruction. Okay, so Cynthia is saying that clarity comes in motion is her favorite. And what I now know about processes and just taking it one day at a time and the things that are now opening up to me, for me, and how I've, I've been sharing my journal as to how, you know, God will show something or something will happen and then three, four, five years later, it's beginning to manifest. I think that that is also taking like, you know, upper place in my heart in terms of clarity coming in motion. But you have to be in motion for clarity to come. And you can see that with, you know, me trying to tweak the masterclass and, you know, my message and all that, you can see. So we keep going and then it gets clearer. So he said, go back to the beginning. And then I remembered go back to the place of the last instruction. So for me, going back to the beginning was, Lord, I just need to sell one tub of pap again. At that time, it was still our frozen pap sold in tubs, in plastic tubs. So that's why I'm talking about tubs. Of course, right now we're in um, resealable pouches. If you don't mind, I would get up for a minute. I have a pack of pap, you know, um, I have a pack of pap somewhere, but I'll just grab it. One second. <laughs> one second, one second, I'll be right with you. Okay, dokey. I'll be right with you. I'll be right with you. Just so that you get it. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so this is what the all these good best pop that we've been talking about. Right? So you can see the Google Best Food logo. Okay, so this is you know. Um but then this is what the product looks like. This product that we've been talking about. And I'm assuming that people know what I'm talking about. So this is a 400 gram pack, pack 
of Buber's yellow compap. And uh, we've had to do a bit of rebranding. So this is actually a new pouch. Not in the design, but a few things. So before now, we used to literally write out the local names, which is Akamu Koko Ogi. Yeah. But now, because we're talking about the export market and we want people to see the product and then, you know, it's marketing to them. They know what it is. So that's why you see fermented corn meal porridge. Right. For, you see, when I say come, let me teach you now, you will think that uh, you get everything. You must be thinking about the customer. The product is for the customer. The business is for me. So 100% natural, authentic pap. I created this marketing message when I was wondering what will be the objections and taking feedback from our customers. And of course, because, you know, prior to now, people didn't used to pack pap like this. You know how they used to sell pap. And, you know, the misconception around packaged products being overprocessed and maybe, you know, I know there must be some additives and all that. So I, I, <laughs> it's in one of the books as well, of course, which is now on a Google Doc. But that's how I came up with this. 100% natural, authentic pap, right? So my full marketing message says with excellent, great taste. And the reason excellent is there is that if you remember one of the days that we talked about, um, you know, um, the core values, there was a day we talked about core values, and I said our single, singular core value, as it were, that is the bedrock for everything else is excellence. So even in our marketing message, there's excellence, you know, in it. And then, so we also put this, and it's too tiny. So the next time they are printing, I told them, you know, I need it um, to speak. So what we have there is saying no additives, no preservatives. So that's what you have in the inner red. You will see that there are three write-ups, right? So it's no additives, no preservatives, no added sugar. Marketing message on the pack. So that it's selling. It should be selling on the shelf. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's marketing to, to educate your customers, right? But it depends on where your customer journey is. Today, you want to talk about the power of vision, not to teach business packaging and marketing. But hey, what can I do? And then so in that round circle, so all of this, you know, it's me coming up. And, and you know, you can have a marketing team, but I like to just know and understand. Then I can give you to go and do. But all of this is me. So you create, I look at it, I'm thinking, nah, nah. But I know what the messages are. That's why you're a CEO. You must understand the foundations of your business. It's not to go and hire people and then people are messing you up. So I said natural, gluten-free, low calorie, ready in two minutes. So those are the different things that we're selling. So anyway, this is what the product looks like. And then this is what our single use packs look like. So this is empty. Are you seeing the quality of our packaging? But when we say, when we say excellence, do you get can you see food grade food grade <laughs> someone said me showing the packaging is uh what's it called it is vision so actually you're correct because i'm getting you to see that no i'm not i know what i'm telling you so this is <laughs> food can you see excellence at its peak and then um yeah so i guess i've shown you we can move on branding Look at branding, 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 perception. So, <laughs> so, um, where, where was I? Where was I before I, I moved to this uh, best foods conversation? But I know that I was talking about that all I had was the documented dream life and vision blueprints for the business. So even though I wasn't looking at it, I have an I, I had an idea of the kind of business I wanted to build. The numbers we've done that here, and one of the days. When we talked about what are the different, how would you know when you're creating the vision blueprint for your business? How would you know when you get there? So it has to be the wake you up from sleep and say, oh, what do you want? It's not eh, eh, eh. No, you need to be very clear. So even looking at the numbers, like I said, was a trigger. Like I couldn't look at the numbers because it just, it's like, no, I don't want any reminder <laughs> of what I'm going through, right? And then so... Going back to the beginning was, Lord, if I could sell only a top. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. That's where I was. And I was now saying that. But now we're in packs. Fantastic. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. You know? So, I went back. And today I'm not going to bore you with the full story. 
or the tiny details, the finer details as it were. But I'm saying that that vision, it was about me going back to the beginning. And the beginning for me was the vision blueprint, my dream life, the things that I want the business to help me achieve in my dream life, in my life. Right? And that's what I had said. But then something else which I've also said I did in that season was to, my goodness, that's the one I did. Like I went to work every day looking at our numbers, studying our PL. So that's our profit and loss statement. I was looking at it, looking at every line item to understand what I needed to do. And then beyond that, the next thing I did was it's one thing to say, oh Lord, supernaturally pay my debts. I asked a friend recently who, I don't know that um, I really need to share this, but I'm talking, we hadn't even started this midnight work with God. And you know, so she was complaining about her debts. I said, please, how much is this thing that you're owing? Tell me, let me clear it. And then we now laughed about it. And, and, and I said, so I just said, so that you can stop disturbing God. Then you, so that you can start praying. You know that, that joke about, please, what you're asking God for, eh? Let me sort your own so that you can start praying. <laughs> you know, but really, that's how I just felt. I just felt like, how much is this thing that you know here? Let me hear what. She gave me a figure. And, you know, and we're on it. Right? And I'll leave it at that. But where I'm going with that story is that she wasn't clear. She just said about, and that's what I'm focused on. So you ask someone how much you want to earn in a year. You give a figure, but the truth is it's unrealistic. And I'm, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. Why is it unrealistic? It's unrealistic in your current state. Not that it's unrealistic, generally speaking, no. So what then happened was I had to become Super clear on my numbers. I'm a numbers person, but I was running from numbers because of what it was doing to me. <laughs> I became super clear on my numbers. I set the goals and I knew that, okay, this is what it is. Now, what is driving me as much as it's no longer, it's not about, oh, I want to be debt free, if that makes sense. Because what you focus on multiplies. Like, what you should be focusing on is what you want to earn and save and invest. We've talked about it here. The three levels um, of wealth creation. Earn, save, invest. Please, there's no way it says earn, save, in between pay debts and invest. No. So all you need to be focusing on, on your journey to financial freedom, because I've also told you that um, earning is financial independence, saving is financial security, investment, you know, then, you know, it's financial freedom. When you talk about passive income, when you say that in your sleep, your one billionaire that's in savings is earning your money. That's that you've invested. It's earning your money. A billionaire at 10% interest rate is 100 million a year without you lifting a finger. Does that make sense? Like, you get. But <laughs> so your focus should be the revenue, what you earn. We're still talking about the power of vision. So vision is not something that is, it's not an arbitrary number. It's not, oh, you know, it's not just a nice to have. Let me put it that way. Because even the Bible, I wish I had that scripture. And I was sharing that with a friend of mine today. You know, it says, how many of you that you want to build a house? Somebody put, put it on the, on the chat, please. And then you will not sit down to know the cost. It's Bible. In fact, why was I even, I was telling this, my friend, because I was telling her, I said, listen, you're getting into my notes. You're getting ahead of me. Because she was of the opinion that each of my, you know, all of us um, plan life first. You are the only person or one of the very few people that, you know, plan from your dream. And I'm like, did I just hear right? And I know what she's saying. Because I also gave you an example with my mom's birthday that's coming up, right? And I understand. But it's the fact that some of you that have been listening to me for 20 days, including one person who sent me a voice note, and by the time she's, when she wasn't sending the voice note, she said, I, I know this is not a limiting belief because she knows. She knows exactly what I'm going to say to her. <laughs> she started with, I know this is not a limiting belief, da, 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 da. 
And I was, I did a voice note and I knew that no. And I called her. And by the time we're done, if you're here and you want to expose yourself, you can. Thank you so much. Luke 14, 28 to 30. I will read that. Luke 14, okay. 28 to 30. We're talking about the power of vision. But there are things that are limiting you. Okay, so you want me to expose you really, really, really? Or you want us to keep you? Or you want to just say, it's, it's me? Choose one. But she, she, started the, she started the voice note. Thank you so much, Amaram, for the, for the scripture reference. She started the voice note with, it's not a limiting belief. And by the time we're done, she figured, okay, it's a limiting belief. So we had that conversation, and then this other friend started to tell me, hey, you're the only person. I, 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 I said, listen. I said, but the problem with Christianity. <laughs> so the person that's running is the one that started her voice notes today. She has laughed. Now she's running. She's the one that started her voice notes today with. It's not a limiting belief. But by the time we were done, she noticed, okay, my goodness, it's a limiting belief. You know? And we like to quote scripture. We like to play religion to say that we know it. So all of us, I believe, know um, Habakkuk 2.2. Um, write the vision, make it plain. Da, 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 da. Back up a little bit. But you just said write the vision. And you're also telling me that I'm the only one. How about you realize that I'm the one that's doing it the way that the Bible wants it. The way that is scriptural according to Jesus' standard of how we should do it. I told her the other day that I was looking at Habakkuk 2. You know, so before I get into the scripture, so I became very, very clear on my numbers and thus began my goals. Yesterday, I showed you things that I highlighted on my Excel sheet. So my budget, my dream life budget. I have three different numbers I've I gone for. So what, for the sake of this conversation, I'll call basic, I'll call leap, and the reason I use leap is that the name of the business, my coaching and online business, coaching and consulting business, is leap to limitless global. So there's the basic financial goal, there is the leap financial goal, and then there is the limitless financial goal. Because we talk about limitless wealth here. So that becomes what you're pursuing, not a number that. So it goes back to what is your why. What is your why? And I said to her, because I mean, at the point I was talking to this, my friend, I'm not reading Bible. I said, but the Bible tells us that for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Or is it me reading the Bible upside down? So I had to become super clear on my numbers. Those clear numbers became my guide. Those clear numbers. Became, because if you look at the dream life, like when you read it, you know, it's more, it's fantasy. It's, you know, oh, you know, like, uh, I wish. But if wishes were horses. I asked her, I think it was yesterday I asked her, I said, how many of you, that dream income goal that you had, how many of you hit it? If you hit it, say yes. And I'm not saying you can't, just say, we're here. Let's, let's raise our hands. There's a reason, because there's a framework and a system to this thing. Right? So I'm saying that that's what I actually want to teach you in the Zero to Profits Masterclass. Right? And what is the Zero to Profits Masterclass? Is the single, I think is the single most powerful and most effective solution to the single big, biggest mistake that business owners make. I wanted to say that failing businesses, because really I was failing at the time. And I think I should leave it that way because I was failing when I learned this. In fact, I had failed. I learned this and I bounced back. So I would actually change it. Single biggest mistake that failing businesses make, period, is what it is. Don't be afraid of telling them the truth, of, of calling them out. <laughs> right? And that's why I say that this single most powerful solution is what I call the Limitless Wealth Creation Framework for tapping into your ideal future. Remember, I was just talking about my dream life budget. It's coming from my ideal future to achieve financial freedom faster and live your dream life. Please, you want to have all this fun when you can really do all the things, not at 80. You'll then be saying, oh, now I'm worth $50 billion, but you really can't travel so much. You really can't, you know? So it's going to be happening on February the 15th. So I'll allow you to do Valentine's Day with your loved ones or your lovers, because I don't think it's about loved ones, it's about lovers, I mean. So for all of you that have lovers, 
do your valentine day have fun and on february 15th come to class that's for the regular so for the regular on that day one um i have i have it written so basically you will have one day then vip would have two days because one day is not enough so but at least with your regular you would get all the way to setting you know these financial goals tapping into your ideal future that limitless wealth creation blueprint you would get it but then the vip of day two i'll tell you what it is you will then discover how you can use what you already have i will share this when i said you're called to teach what to teach and all that right so when we say teaching someone asks me a question so when we say online business it's not just about coaching so there's coaching there's consulting there's anything but all i'm saying is this it's something that you're doing with what you have i told us a story um about how someone reached out to me and said i've followed you secretly i mean i know this person for well over 20 years he said i followed you secretly and they have a, a factory a fully set up factory that because of my resilience, they want me to come and take over. I've shared that, right? Even that in itself is me earning money from something that I already have. So I have, <laughs> yeah, Samara says the beauty of God using a similar sad event in our lives to give us testimonies, a failing business to a thriving business. That's why I say it's from trauma to thriving. All the trauma that I went through of anxiety attacks and all that and all that. You know what I'm trying to say. So when we say using what we already have, which we already have, now I already have that skill set that I've developed in the last three years of rebuilding, of zero to profits, and someone wants it. Let's talk. Let's talk. The thing with when you're clear with your numbers, I've, I've brought down my voice so that they don't hear what I want to tell you. When you're clear about this thing that I will be teaching you in the Zero to Profits Masterclass, you begin to see opportunities. And, and, and I'll tell you what, how I was imagining it today. And you can, so because I'm constantly dreaming, I just imagine that, okay, first of all, there'll be a consulting fee. And I was now asking myself, so how much would you want to charge for consulting? Of course, if you're talking about that size of facility they want me to come and look at, you can only imagine. So I started with a figure that I then felt, no, 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 that's too, that's too little. It's not an online business, but it's something I already have, right? So I said, okay, no. So I'll charge a consulting fee, which is my fee to bring my expertise, which is practically consulting. Then... You remember I was telling you the other day that because of the new, where we're working the finance, fi financial model for Booger Foods, that means that I have a strong person in finance. We're talking about structure. I said to you, there's first of all the strategy before system and structure. But the thing is that no, you want to go and be learning tactics. You want to go and be learning how to increase, how to increase a uh, ad spend. No strategy in place. <laughs> so I told you, at least I told you. So I'm thinking, and I told you there's somebody I'm talking to who, who would come and run the operations. That means I now have a solid team for BFL. But it's that team that will then work on this project. So I'm thinking, okay, so there will be a consulting fee. Then there will be that other fee, you know, for me and my team. And then it's not online. It's not coaching. But it's still teaching. Is something I know that I'm bringing to four and it would pay me some money to live a baby girl life to live my dream life faster do you get what I'm trying to say does that make sense I had to, I had to bring down my voice so that it's just you who is life that would hear this thing and understand why you need to sign up to the zero to profits masterclass regular is at $97 and by the end of today your discount code expires. But I'll be I'll be honest. I moved it to tomorrow and I'll tell you why. I only shared the link for the what is it called now for the regular. I didn't share the link for the VIP. And, and I take full responsibility, right? Because some people have reached out to me, they want to do VIP and all that, but I forgot to share the link for the VIP. So 
your 10% discount would then so i'm just giving a 24 hour grace for this reason and this reason only i'm not interested in discounts it's still the same code mwwg 10 the investment is for your own good will i make money absolutely yes will i make profit absolutely yes who would gain more you you're the one who would live with a roadmap to a hundred and a hundred thousand dollars after paying me 297 for vip so I digressed a bit, but I had to tell you the story so that you understand it. So for VIP, which is the second day, so VIP would have two days, February 15th and 16th, right? And then regular would have February 15th, which is $97. VIP is $297. So for VIP, in addition to the Limitless Wealth Creation Framework, you will then discover how you can use what you already have to start a business or reinvent your existing business. Because you remember I told you about the dashboard that I've already created as to the numbers that I use in monitoring, be it this online business, be it the physical store. So you would then, you know, understand those numbers or that dashboard and run your business by yourself. That's why I say it's limitless. So no matter the business you want, no matter the business, no matter the industry, there is customer, there is transaction, there is revenue and there is profits. Must there must be somebody buying your your goods and services, your products and services? There must be someone paying you money. If not, you don't have a business. There must be someone paying you money, which is revenue. There must be money you can keep after expenses, profits. No matter the industry. So this is not about oh, so you know, do you, you don't have a business yet? This is the time to know what to do. You have a business. This is the time to not make mistakes. It's a brand new year, 2024. Today is the first of February. January is over. 11, one down, one, 11 to go, right? To start generating massive profits and begin your journey to financial freedom. That said, and my pro, uh, product sold, Zero to Profits Masterclass, click in the link in the description box. It's already there. So the link to the regular is there. The link to the VIP is there. I'm not showing up again after today, except, you know, if I miss you so much, but the midnight work we got ends tonight. So... I won't come up, may not come up to 10, may not, because I don't know what happened happen tomorrow, but I know it's not at 9 p.m. I may not be able to come live and try to remind you, have you enjoyed the discount or not? Absolutely not. So please click the link in my in my in in the description box, and I'm going to put it as a comment and sign up. So Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 1, the power of vision. All I've just shared with you in my story is the power of vision. And that, that one thing, clarity in our numbers and everything that I did, then took the business from minus zero. We weren't even at zero. Minus, minus zero. All the way to massive profits, nine figures in revenue faster. Habakkuk 2, chapter 1, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see. I alluded to this the other day. And we'll watch to see what he will say unto me. And I told us what all of those things mean. Let me see if I have it here. If I don't have it here, that's fine. Um, each German. Okay, so I didn't write it down, but that's fine. So let's keep at it. You will stand, you're the one that will stand upon your watch. And if I remember when I did my study, your watch, I said, is your guard. You will stand on your guard. And set you upon a tower. It, it said, and set you upon a siege. And I'll tell you that, I think the next day I was talking to someone and we we're talking about how, you know, God put Noah in an ark. It was almost as if there was, it was a siege. Like, <laughs> and set me upon the tower. God exempted Noah and his people by putting them in a tower. Something like that, you, you know. <laughs> And will watch, but the reason you're standing upon your watch is you will watch to see what he will say unto you. And I said, his words forms pictures because he says the reason is to see what he will say. So he's speaking the words, but you're envisioning the words, the power of vision. And then beyond that, you're seeing it. It says, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. 
Because when God is speaking, there will be some reproof, there will be instruction, there will be this. The, but at least you're waiting for an answer. To see the answer. Before you then begin to talk about, in fact, there's a scripture that talks about repro reproof. Let me quickly go there and then come back here. So it's 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. I'll quickly go there now. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Let's see. Let me see what it says now, maybe. He says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. It is profitable. For doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The word that he's speaking to you, that is meant to ignite your imagination. He says you have the mind of Christ. He's speaking to you, but it should ignite your imagination. And you begin to see that this good land, where I will eat bread without scarceness. Today, as I went out for my meeting, guess what I saw as I was leaving the meeting? Guess. My white... 2023 Range Rover was packed right in front of me. All I said was, Lord, you know now. <laughs> right in front of me. Somebody brought it to the meeting. White, and it wasn't black. I know that mine is white. So I saw it live. I saw my vision <laughs> in flesh and blood, not black. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. And then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Document your dream life. He said write. He didn't say think your vision. <laughs> it's not a drama. It's not a this is an idioma thing. It's not a when I started to teach it, I never linked it to this. But you know, because clarity comes in motion. And now I've allowed myself to, as I'm looking at the word, all I'm seeing is, you know, anchor scriptures, supporting scriptures for the things that I'm saying. So it's making more sense to me. He said, write the vision, document your dream life. And make it plain upon the tables. It has to be plain. It has to be clear. My assignment is simple. I help entrepreneurs who lack confidence and clarity. To move to their next level that's the people that i help because it needs to be very clear what you're chasing needs to be clear the challenge is this and what discourages you is that so say for example your goal is to earn a hundred million dollars and that big dream is very 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 valid but then you look at your current business and you don't see how that would happen and you forget that your what you're now doing is that you're helping god to think of the how but that he can bring different opportunities your way just to make your dream come to pass. Your own is to dream. God's own is to handle the how. <laughs> He's the master strategist. Gideon planned, planned, planned. He said, I just take 300. Leave all these plenty. And you know what? Just as I'm saying it now, and I don't know if I've said it yet before, I don't know if this is a new revelation, but I, I don't remember really thinking about it. He needed people that would be in agreement with Gideon's vision. Selah. You know this thing you want to pack plenty friends and I don't have any problem with it? You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> On this journey, <laughs> you need what you call covenant partners. The people who see what you see. Not the one you tell somebody, you know, my dream income is a hundred million dollars and the person is thinking, <laughs> dreamer. Yeah, but that's how Joseph dreamt. And his dreams became his reality. I guess that's what's in the Bible. Right? It says, write the vision and make it plain upon the table that he may run that reads it. That he may run. I've never taught, you know, in fullness what I'm going to be teaching in the Zero to Prophets Masterclass because it's getting clearer. And this is me teaching my how. And you can take that template and use it for 100 years of your life. The question is this. Don't you then think that $97 is too cheap if you're doing regular? But of course, if I were you, I would want to have a $100,000 roadmap. So I'm going to give you a roadmap for $100,000. I want to bring calculator. Let's be doing these numbers together. So that you, don't, you stop thinking of 297. So, um, each of how would you do this math now to know what percentage it is? 
let's see nah mm. what so the 297 dollars for vip is 0.297 percent of the roadmap you would go with that is okay round it up you know that when a number is more than five you move it i'm teaching you maths maths that you do not pass in primary and secondary school so beyond paying me for zero to profit, you need to pay me for teaching you maths. <laughs> that your investment to walk away with a roadmap to $100,000 is 0.3%. Listen, when you want to raise finance, there's a fee you pay the financial advisors. There's a fee that you pay, you know. The fee, be, the, the fee is always 3%. 3% of the total sum raised, teaching you finance, my goodness. And I'm not even asking for up to 0.5%. Like, I'm so liberal that the 3% that somebody else will ask you to go and look, for, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm asking for 10% of that 3%, which is 0.3%. As an investment to teach you, I'm not going to find the money for you. I'm giving you a blueprint and a roadmap that the same roadmap you use in earning a hundred thousand is the same for earning a million. But the thing is this, if you haven't earned a hundred, can we, you know what I'm trying to say? That's why we just said a hundred. Is the same roadmap for a million dollars? Is the same roadmap for a hundred million dollars? Is the same roadmap? Is the same. The same. Because it's all about numbers. So once you understand how to do it, you just keep tweaking it. If you don't know where you're going, no, don't think that you're going to hire staff who will not know where you're going. I'll give you an, another example. Because it says, I make it plain on them that he may run that reads it. Now, I had a meeting, it will be Tuesday morning, because I know I had that meeting before I left for, so it was a virtual meeting. And I'm talking to the person who I want to run our marketing. Right? To achieve the goal. Hmm. And today is Thursday, I think. By Thursday afternoon, I'm thinking, you know, I haven't gotten the quote because I don't have time. He says the vision is yet for an appointed time. I don't have time. I'm, I'm running. As I'm reading the vision and declare numbers, I'm running. So 48 hours later, you know, I hadn't gotten a quote. I sent her an email to say I'm still expecting the quote. So by this evening, she sent it. I don't need to study. That's what you call CEO language. You speed read. You're taking the... <laughs> You're taking the top level. Do you have any meetings? Or how many people I talk to in a day? Then I'll now stay and be no. So it's when you do the work, come back. It's the review that I now look at the final details. I'm not here to micromanage people. Anyway, I've looked at her email, her response. Guess what I'm seeing? I'm seeing something. So of course it's broken down in phases. I'm seeing something that's saying 15 weeks. Ha! Please, you know it's 15 weeks? That is, the year is already over. I haven't responded to that email, but I know my response because I already planned it in my head. What would it cost for you to reduce this timeline? No, don't think that because you want to be making money monthly because I've told you it's long term. You know, I'm clear on what I want. So I did my numbers and everything before I gave the brief. I know the funny thing. Of course, I went into the meeting asking you, what do you want to achieve? But it, the thing is that most times we think we're just going to go and dump it on people. Eh? So, you know, I really don't know what I want, eh? but just na 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 na. When it is clearer, you are able to run. When I saw 15 weeks, this is how you have started my strategy. I have my plans. 15, wait, oh, this is February. 15 weeks, you're talking four months. That is, wait, let's do it together. March. Okay, so it will be the whole of February from whenever we engage. So, February. In fact, there's a phase one before they started counting the weeks because we have to have all that agreement and da 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 So maybe all of that will happen in February. Before they start counting 15 weeks. March, April, May, June. It's a lie. I don't have it. In chemistry, that's what you call half-life. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have it. I, <laughs> I don't have it. I need this thing. Okay, I need the top level ready by the end of Q on Ma end of March. Because it has to be in alignment with my dream. And that's where we fail it. So it's not about her and what she can deliver. I've seen the cost. So technically, it may just 
I'm not saying that I know that for sure that that's what it is, but sometimes in consulting, especially when you're doing hourly rates and things like that, you know, they try to drag your work just so that you can pay more. Madam, give me that charge up front. Or please have this day. I'll be having this conversation. So I said that to say that he may run that read set, the power of vision. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. And someone will tell me that you want to start planning first before you dream. I, be, I, I, I still don't understand what we're talking about. Maybe if I understand it, then I would explain it, but I don't understand it. Because the Bible has told me. The vision, the one he said right in verse 2, and make it plain upon the tables. It's the same one he's telling you by verse 3. They said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Please, why don't you now wait until when it is time for the vision to start writing it? If you shouldn't document and create your dream life, your ideal future, the vision blueprint for your life and your business. So, what we're doing is the vision blueprint for your life. There are other courses and programs that you can, you know, that you can sign up for when they come up. But I'm talking about the Zero to Profits Masterclass. Because your business is an extension of you. So you must understand who you are, where you are, what you need, you know, all those things before you start talking about vision blueprint for your business. All of that will then happen in zero to million online because, but hey, let's stay focused. For the vision is just for an appointed time, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Meaning, it shall come to pass. And now that I'm looking at and not lie, it, it's, I, I will think that it's trying to say to us, I don't have my concordance, I didn't do it as a concordance study, right? But just saying literally, and not lie means that Everything that you have in there would happen. And then, but he says, do it tarry. Do it tarry. You need patience. Remember the journey to becoming. These things are in levels. As you increase capacity, we've learned all of this. The link to the entire playlist, 21 Days Minnow We've Got Playlist, is in the description box. Do it tarry. It says, wait for it. Wait, 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 wait. A letter that I received on Friday. I received on Friday. The very first time I wrote and reached out to these people was 2019, five years ago. I only carried my evidence five years later. <laughs> wait for it. Because it will surely come, the power of vision. It will not tarry. So that, that's quite, you know, contradictory, if you get what I'm trying to say. So it's saying, though it tarry, wait for it, that it's telling you because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Bottom point is that it's surely going to happen. You're going to dream, act on it, and it's going to manifest. The timeline is not dependent on you. The one that you have control over is the dreaming and the action. The manifestation is not for you. See, that's why he said the set time. But there are certain things you then do. All those ones are now God and his prerogative. And when he's thinking, okay, so it's now time. I think this is my, my child. This is my daughter. This is my son. He's matured enough to handle this. Okay, so we can let's, let's give him this part. Let's give, give him um, this next level. That, that one is God's prerogative. But he's not going to come down and dream for you. He's not going to come down and write your dream life. He's not going to come down and act. So that is why with the regular... Right, so whether you're an aspiring entrepreneur, whether you're an existing entrepreneur, whether you're earning a hundred million in your business, whether you're earning one million in your business, you need because this is the single that's what I said when I started. I know what I said is the single, single most powerful, even in the pit, it was Joseph's dream that kept him going in the pit, in the prison. Was his dream. It's the single most powerful and most effective solution to the single biggest mistake that failing businesses make. Failing, 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 failing. Please, if you're not going on a private jet every weekend to Maldives, you need to make more money. So don't tell me, yeah, you know, I really don't need the Zero to Profits Masterclass. I'm kind of okay. No, you're not. There's still scarceness. You're not eating bread without scarceness. <laughs> I'm not me. I'm telling you what I tell myself. 
that scripture, Luke 14, um, 28 to 30, and then we begin to round up. My goodness. Mm. I've said it all. Click the link, ajomandukwe.com. Go there, fill name and email, that's all. So that. <laughs> Subscribe and set notifications so that. I can, let, me, let me be honest. Like, let me be honest. I know I wouldn't show up at 9 p.m. That I know. Because really, this it stretches me. But because I sit here to work during the day, I'm just telling you now. I know. <laughs> I know that without information, <laughs> I'm going to show up live at some point tomorrow afternoon. Like, I think I know it like I know my name. The only difference is that finally all my alarms of, oh, schedule the, what's that thing called? Schedule the um, YouTube live, share the YouTube live on video, or what's that thing called? Uh, or WhatsApp. I have all of that. And then I have, so I have three, I have three, um, what's it now? Three alarms. So the first one is schedule, 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 whatever, um, the YouTube live on YouTube. That's the first one that happens. It's set for 5 p.m. So I go to do that um, scheduling at 5 p.m. Then I have 8.15 p.m. Start getting ready. So when I say start getting ready, it includes wearing my tea. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> start getting ready for, for, you know, MWWG. That one goes off at 8.15 p.m. So that way I have 45 minutes. It doesn't mean I'll get up at that time to start doing, but at least whatever I'm doing, it draws, you know, it gets me back on track. Then 8.50, it goes about 8.50, the one to share on my WhatsApp. But what happens is I snooze it for another five minutes and then I share it. Because I realize that when I share it a bit too early, people are not, you know, so you'll be waiting for the 20 minutes. It, it, earlier on, that alarm would go off at 8.40 p.m. You, are, you should tweak things. You're allowed to tweak things. You try and what worked, what didn't work, you know. So I now set it for 8.50 and that's so that I'm not, I don't start the writing at 8.55. So sometimes I do the text and I, I send it to myself. Like today, that's what I did, knowing that I was busy. And then at 8.50, the alarm went off. I was here. I snoozed it for five minutes. 8.55, I copied and I shared. System. System. So I can't believe that I'll go into my, my timers now and delete all these alarms. But I really, really, something in me tells me I'm going to show up tomorrow afternoon. But I don't know when. Luke chapter 40, 28. Please tell me you'll miss me. Tell me. Like, I'm going to really feel it. Tell me. I want to say it now in this chat. Don't come and tell me later. Be telling me now. I have two minutes to go. I want to read it. Yes. You should be giving me my flowers now publicly. Luke chapter 14, verse 28. My goodness. I love me so much. It's ridiculous. He said, for which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counted the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? Lest happily, after he had laid the foundation. So what's the foundation? Your dream life. That's the foundation. And he's not able to finish it. All that behold it begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. But I would think that the foundation is the dream life, you know. Or what king going to make war? This is verse 31. Against another king, seated not down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet. I haven't seen this in the scripture, to be honest with you. To meet him that comes against him with 20,000. Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends an ambassage and desires conditions of peace. Basically, basically, there's the place for planning. So for the VIP, the day two, you know, would be around planning and action. So how do you plan to earn this money that we figured out in day one? So is there something you have? And that's why I say you can start a business after that day two. Like you can literally go and start a business with a roadmap to earn $100,000. I love you all. So either these charts is, you know, I don't understand. I want to see. You guys don't, like you're not going to miss me. Or is it that there's a delay? I have one minute. And in that one minute, I want to just hear all the love notes. My goodness. Should I tell myself that they, they, they love me? But I just wanted to receive my flowers. I'm waiting. Today is grand finale. We did this for 21 days. 
That means that you are powerful, that you're really a committed person. You're really very determined. You're the kind of people I want in my tribe. Oh, okay, somebody has said love you. Oh my goodness, I'm waiting for more, please. Please, if you're even watching the replay, please put it in the comments, yes. Oh, somebody says, I'll miss you. Oh my goodness. Somebody says, see me at 9 p.m. on Sunday. Resident, that means you didn't hear that thing I said that I most likely will show up tomorrow afternoon, maybe it's for 15, 20 minutes. I said that. I know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying thank you. I love you right back. I love you right back. But I'm saying to you that you are really determined to go on this journey. Thank you. Someone said, love you, mommy. Oh, someone, <laughs> someone says, I'm being nice. <laughs> I love you all, right? But just know that, you know, sometimes we're too hard on ourselves. You know, it's almost like, oh, I don't finish the things I start, da 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 da, da. But if you could, as someone says, I wish you could continue. But if you could stay with me these 21 days, imagine if you could give your business one hour. Because I can tell you, I said to myself, since I was really justly showing up 9 to 10 p.m. every day, hey, John, what will you do with that one, one hour? And I said, I would work on my business. I'll work on my coaching business for one hour, nine to 10. So even though I may not be in front of you, but I'm going to be doing work. And let's do these numbers. I know that some of us, you know, maybe nine to five us, right? Um, doing our career jobs and that's fine. And we're not all called to be on. I don't want to say that because I don't believe so. Because entrepreneurs are made, they are not born, but everybody, Everybody can't be an entrepreneur. Who's going to then, you know, just hopefully you get what I'm trying to say, but I know that everybody can be an entrepreneur. Everybody can start a business a unique, unique to them. But imagine that you give your business, this baby of yours, one hour every day for 365 days. That's 365 hours. Listen, I'm data driven. Divided by 24. What that means is that you would have given yourself 15 full days in fact, no. Typical work hours are eight hours. 365 hours divided by eight. You would have given yourself a month and a half to this your baby. That is, I'm tired. But the fact that I could log on to a midnight work we got, including all the other ones that you log on to, right? But I'm just using this as an example. I, and I just determined that one hour every day. I'm going to do this work. I'm going to work on the new. I'm going to keep tweaking the things that I've learned, that I've learned from Zero to Profits Masterclass. You would have 45 work days to work on your business. And then if you're really driven by the by what you would learn um, from in the Zero to Profits Masterclass, don't forget that the discount ends now, I've said it's 2nd of February, simply because I did not share the VIP link. So I'm going to share it now. You know, um, it's going to be in the comments and it's in the description box. So let's just do times two. Do you know that that's 91 days, 91 full days, that if you give yourself two hours every day to your area of interest, you would have given yourself a whole quarter, that is, it's like every day that you, you were going to work in this your new business, in this your dream business. 91 days, my goodness. And you know the funny thing? It's 91 days, including Saturdays and Sundays. And if you want us to, you must understand numbers. Think like a CEO. Think numbers, not a, you know, ma, this, this, this. Somebody called me this morning. Ah, IJ, mm, you know, this dollar rate. If I sell, the person is in mining. If I sell now, I'll make more money. Da, da, da. What do you think I should do? Da, da. I said, calm down. Tell me your numbers. What would what would you what would your revenue have been if you sold at the other rates? Oh, I did my projections. I said, okay, write it down. What would have what your revenue have been? What would have been your expenses? Then what would have been your profits? You have the number. Then this one now that because I don't have complete tonnage for the truck, I said I can't help you. You want me to? I said I don't work with CBN, which is the Central Bank of Nigeria. So I don't know what you want me to do with, about bank rates. But what I know is that if you're able to plot your data as a CEO, then you would make strategic decisions, not emotional decisions about bank rate that can wake up tomorrow and, and fall or wake up tomorrow and become something else. If you get what I'm trying to say, right? So understand your numbers. Think numbers. That's who you are. You're in business to generate profits. It's not about a hobby. Now there are, there are, 
five working days. That's where I'm going. Five work days. So that five working days would give us the week, right? So all we need to do is to divide by five. That means that you have 18 work weeks. So because as I was saying, that means you spend your third quarter one. But I know that people don't work Saturdays and Sundays, you know, in corporate organizations. And I need to just literally get off your face. I think I'm already suffering from the withdrawal symptoms <laughs> and syndrome, you know. So that's 18 weeks. And you and I know that four weeks make, uh, you know now, I have to divide it. Four weeks make a month, literally, except for some months that are like five. If you divide this by four, please, what that means is that you would have gone to work four and a half months. When you do it this way, you will no longer be procrastinating on the two hours. You'll be focused on the results. And that is this. I, I just gave you the tip of the iceberg. This is your life. I just used the same thing I would teach you in Zero to Profits as to, I used it to just do time management for you. So it's really what I'm going to be teaching you is also a productivity tool. I literally just did time management for you. But the thing is, I won't come and tell you I'm teaching you time management. But it's numbers, it's data. So all of you that are worried, I procrastinate a lot. No, 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 I've just solved it for you. You make your choice. Choose you this day whom you will serve. I love you all, Tim Bubers. At least I know that, you know, <laughs> at least I know that I must see you every Sunday at 9 p.m. But then again, because I love you so much, I can show up at any time. God bless you. Enjoy the new. Enjoy the next level. You know what I think? I think at this point, maybe, you know, just a minute prayer. Father, we are extremely grateful for Midnight Walk We Got 2024. We do not take it for granted. And I remember what I was trying to say about Gideon, or what I said about Gideon. You gave him the ones that would align with the vision and the dream because of the power of agreement. Because you said that where two or three are gathered together in your name, that you would be there present. You have sent me to this tribe and sent this tribe to me also. So that I would believe that you have called us into the new, into our next level, into this good land of abundance where we shall eat bread without scarceness. Thank you for your insights. Thank you for revelation. Thank you for the things that has happened in each and everyone's life. Because I know that you do not call the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain. So we did not gather these 21 days in vain just to waste time. We sacrificed our time to do this because we're laying a good foundation. Because the Bible says that if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Lord, for that reason, we say Thank you. Daddy, if indeed you are the one that calls this meeting, do something in their lives and businesses that they can say, ah, oh, I learned this during midnight work with God. Or, ah, oh, the Holy Spirit quickened this inside of me during midnight work with God. Lord, let something happen in their lives. Let a shift happen that they can point towards this gathering. In Jesus' much less name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you.